negate the PUD? Yes, if it sells, he would actually have to be selling it and keeping it within that PUD. It would stay the same use. You can't change the, the use. Same on use. Uh, In other words, or it would have to the PUD. Or you start over, whoever, you know, but at that point. So. If the owner does not want the property in that PUD, yes, it would have to be redone, Chester. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, uh, Tom, this is Don Fox. These are just more kind of technical Hi, questions. As, as I recall, the, the access that took so long, that was, that was access from 17 on the west side of the property? Yeah, but it was two of them. There was actually two of them, one into the rear parcel and one into the front parcel. So we, we acquired two, two limited accesses. Okay. And um, just, just for the minutes, what is the name of the corporation? And again, I didn't quite catch it. Culver Investment Corp. Okay. All right. Thanks. Any other questions? If none, I would entertain a. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold oh, up. I got to hold up. What? You can't entertain a motion. I haven't given my report or my expectations, and I've, well, I've asked you this three times. Okay, well, hold on. Just quiet, please. I will ask you at this time before I close it if you have anything you want to add to this, and I should have, and I apologize. No, not apologize. I just, you don't need that. I just don't want to miss this opportunity because I don't see this Correct. the same way that everybody else does. Okay. Page 70, the planned unit development talks about the secondary plan and it says that during the time they have 18 months and during that time they can submit pieces and parts of that as it goes rather than waiting till the last minute to put this together and i think that right now it's not my recommendation that we pass this i think with the confusion that we have about the corporation the plans going forward i would like to see something in writing from Mr. Bestie by next month's hearing so that we know who owns this, what's going forward, and, and start to get some of this put together. It's nice not to invest anything and just have everybody else do the work. I'm sorry, this could have been going on while we were waiting on it. So it's my, my recommendation that we put it on hold till next month till we get this more information from Mr. Bestie and get them going and on this work job, but it's up to the board on how you choose to do that. I'm just disappointed I, I, I that, that the town has invested a lot in this. Right. And right now, we seem to have more investment and more going forward than what the so-called investors do. I understand yeah, what I don't you're saying, but at the same it. time, what we're looking at is only the extension is for the secondary, which he's not required to present a question uh, secondary unless we give him the extension so yeah, unless somebody the only thing is secondary I plan may be submitted and approved <coughs> in stages with each state rep representing portion of the primary plan at the discretion of the plan commission the time limit for submitting each state for approval may be set i'm saying that right now we set a time limit to get some more information but that's all I've got to say. You've heard what I've said. Thank you. Has everybody heard that? Understand what Chuck's presenting here? I don't know where he's coming, but I heard it. Chester? Yes. You you have anything on this? No, but uh, it's probably a good idea. Probably. You're still breaking up, Chester. You want to repeat that? I said it's probably a good idea following Chuck's uh, recommendation. Well, every month's another month, but I don't know how anybody has any information that we don't own the property. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. I mean, we've owned this property all along. It's deeded in our corporation. I'm the 
sole person on the corporation. And as far as timeline, there's nobody that would have, any developer that would have stuck money into this, not knowing that he had access out to State Route 17. He can't fly out of here. So we weren't left with many options on this. Did you really have a doubt that you were not going to get access to State Route 17? Seriously? You never know. No, you I said seriously. Know. Did you doubt it seriously? No. You're dealing with the state. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, it's like and now, tell, and now tell, dealing with the town, and you don't that, really know what's going to happen there either. Well, that'd be like buying a stock and thinking it's going to a million dollars. You don't know. I mean, you wish, but it's, it's until you have it in the hand. Yeah, people can dream, but reality is until you have that access, you have nothing. Oh, yeah. Tom. Can, can you hear him, Tom? Tom, can you hear Wayne? Yeah, I hear something. Or... I'm going to step over there closer to the mic. Oh, I... Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, I cannot. Mike, I hear the camera. Can you hear me now? Yes. Great. Yeah. Let me ask you this. For, for 30 days, can you produce any of that stuff? And with the question that's obviously arose by the properties that that are adjacent to that, is it too would it be too much to ask to provide some kind of progress report or something by the next meeting? I mean, it benefits, to me, it benefits you, benefits the town, benefits everybody by doing that. Well, I don't know what any more I could provide at that point that I have now. I mean. What am I going to make a new deed out and record it to show that I'm going to deed it to myself, that we have ownership of it? And then as far as the project itself, until we we know we're moving forward again, we're not comfortable sticking money into this project if we don't know that if it's going to get extended. It's like a catch-22 again. It was a little bit confusing like, there, Tom. It was a little bit confusing because you said, I am the sole owner of this corporation and now you said we aren't going to put any more money into it those are the well, things we, that bring up red flags to everybody here well i'm not i'm not an i person and most people that go to culver have this you know, are different places they have that it is you refer to your you don't refer to yourself as i you don't think of yourself as as you alone because there's a lot of people the engineers work on this the architects work on it the planners work on it it isn't something that just one person does so i don't consider it me or i it's yeah, I have ownership of it, but I'm not doing this on my own. It's like there's other people that are involved in it to get it to to develop or get to that stage. But if if what Wayne was saying that you would he would ask for this in 30 days, then what's stopping you from going ahead with what you're doing? If you can go ahead and have your next steps, like it said you could on page 70. I mean, it's still showing your that, the, the, the whole thing yeah, here. Well, let me, let we me take your order, Tom. Huh? We, we uh, had this thing originally <clears throat> laid out phases and phases, and we have the uh, different parts of it laid out, depending which part we went into first. But if, if we go into the residential first, that's originally what we were planning on the back end. That's why we were needed to needed need them accesses, bringing utilities in from that area up uh, towards the uh, burgers towards the uh, Sand Hill project. So initially, other than saying, OK, here's what we plan to do first. But from there, you still have we have to still get back into design and engineering and all that. So and I, mean, I can tell you as much now as I'm going to tell you in 30 days, the engineer, if they, if they start back into this, isn't going to get a lot done in 30 days as far as engineering and then coming back and asking for the same thing again like okay i still need this extension why are you know are we gonna get it or not all right hold on a minute tom uh under this is this is the understanding everything that i can come out of this as far as the process we approved the primary pud with a proposal of what he was going to do with the homes all that with this extension 
all we're doing is setting the same time as we did at the end of that meeting when you had the time before you got the other extension. And now we're at, at just asking for another extension to proceed with your secondary uh, presentation. And I, I do compliment our building commissioner for what he's brought up on this. But I know all this process as far as the ownership and all that was brought before the in the primary when it was approved. We were pretty well waiting on the access when you you said you were trying to get the access and you hadn't got it when we gave you the other extension. And now you're asking for another extension in my right. In my actual position from what I've had in past uh, PUDs, we've never had this problem, so it is new to us. But as far as extension, I mean, I would ask that if we approve this extension, that you would keep us up on everything that's proposed that uh, engineers, architects, whatever. And if well, that, that's it, what we're planning. We want. You know, we're not going to do this whole project at once, and and we know right. we, no one's going to file about seven acres. And it's so. in your ordinances as far as the way you you proceed on the secondary can be done in phases, as Chuck, uh, right. Mr. Witt had uh, explained there. But would it be uh, approved? And this is to other building commissioners if they felt they'd approve it with a condition of showing something within so much time. And would it be more apt to satisfy anybody else as far as any questions that we have during that time? I mean, are you doing extending the time to have the secondary? If it fails anything in that right there, the plan commission has the authority to close plan, plan uh, the PUD. So it's not like it's out of our hands. It's just setting there, so anything that happens to us better than what's going to happen if it sets. So. Sorry, we did not hear that. The, market, the housing marketing call is still strong, you know, so and luckily it's hold, everything's holding up. So interest rates are down. We just couldn't do a lot without these accesses. There's really nobody that is going to stick their neck out any farther with us without knowing they had it. Six months want to enlighten him about where he stands economically. Okay. Is a six month extension going to help him figure out? It's not. It's not the economic <coughs> questioning now. He's just saying the market's good. He's going to move ahead because the market's good. It's just the engineers are. Everybody is back up right now. It, and so I have to get back into their schedules. Yeah, you know, they just don't are going to drop everything they're doing. So they'll start weeding into it, getting back into it. We we were starting on our undergrounds and utilities when we dropped dropped off when the access thing come up. So there's parts of it that can be moved into quicker. But again, they're they're busy. So and we know that. But you know, we pay them, they'll work. So. All right. Anybody have any more discussion? If not, I don't think it's I, I don't think it's out of line by any means to make a conditional uh, um, recommendation. If he uh, gets everything in line in, in 30 to 60 days, we could we would grant the uh, six month extension. I think that would be fair, but then also would give us some some teeth uh, if it doesn't he doesn't comply. Do you understand that? He said he, he has no problem with the extension with adding an amendment on the extension so he would show something within 30 to 60 days as far as what can be moved forward if that's possible there isn't much that you're going to be able to throw out in 30 days kind of get people back in the line they're just going to be picking up the paperwork and starting on engineering again so i mean nothing happens that quickly it's that's why we're you know we know that within you know three, four months we're going to be able to present something and have something to, to start you know reviewing anyway 
60 days on that as an amendment? Would that give you time to do as far as showing any thing forward on that? Or do you think that's too close? To I was, well, they don't lock down for COVID again, but I think nine, you know, 90 days and, and then six months to wrap this stuff up. But in six, 90 days, I could, you know, have a good outline where it's going. We're going to have, you know, by then the engineer will be into it. You know, they'll be setting up, working on the easements uh, and the holidays. And you're coming in, not to say it's crazy time, but deer hunting's crazy time. Everybody vanished. But you're going to lose some time for that, the holidays and COVID. So nobody's running back at full steam yet. Everybody's working from home. It's like tough. Yeah. No, I, you know, I wasn't on the board when all this yeah. started, so I'm kind of coming in and you know, right. putting bits and pieces together. Right. Um, I have some concerns that Mrs. King, 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 yeah. okay, uh, came up with is like, why is it this all registered? And you know, it just seems kind of like, okay, I want to pick this project back up now after it's been dormant for what two years. And it's like, okay, if we're asking for some information, why can't we wait a month? Uh, I don't, I don't understand this environment thing, like the economy. No, no, no. The interest rates have been low for a long time now, and I just feel like that we're kind of getting pushed to do something that you know, I just don't feel like I'm, I'm ready to, to vote on and approve. Uh, Without the amendment, with the amendment. Uh, no. Okay. No amendment. I'm just okay. Well, wasn't asking for a vote, but I just want your opinion. All right. Does anybody else have anything else? Yeah, this is Don. I mean, I I, I have a question. I guess I guess I'm still having a hard time understanding what the risk to the town is by approving an extension, particularly if there's a condition that you know Tom reports back to the commission within 90 days of, of where he is because that's halfway through the six month extension. I'm just I'm I'm just not following what the what the risk is to, to the town or potential downside. All right. In my opinion, I haven't spoke yet. But, uh, my opinion is just an extension for the PUD that was already approved. I don't see any further risk than what we took when we approved it the first time even though he couldn't get the access and under conditions of access i do understand going through dot but he never brought a secondary but this is an extension to get the secondary so mm -hmm. in my own feelings i think the six month extension is no risk at all Anybody else, Pete? I I still think we give, we give him the extension to our guests, give him a provision to get it back to us in 60 days, and we'll uh, we'll vote again on the six month. But uh, I, you know, obviously we could have had a lot of this stuff done before this, but uh, I don't want to put this this whole thing in jeopardy because of uh, well, just uh, we just need to get it behind us and uh, see if we want to go on with this or not. Well, I guess this time the only thing I can do is entertain a motion. With or without an amendment. Tell you what, I, I make a motion on this. Can you can everybody hear? I know. I make a motion on this that we should that we will do six month extension provided. He shows no some proof of the corporation to benefit the neighbors. I don't think that's unfair. Even if you did it once, well, do it again. And show some progress on this within 90 days. I mean, that's half of the amount of time of the six months. Everybody get that? Uh, I guess I didn't miss the last part on the on the timing and what uh, we're asking Tom to to produce besides proof uh, that the cat corporation is active. 
Yeah, proof proof that the corporations uh, and show some progress in and show days. progress within 90 days Got and it. with the six month uh, extension. I think 60 days under the condition would be asking too much. I'm willing to second that. So I mean, I feel it's meeting halfway. Yeah. All right, we got a motion for a uh, six month extension with the conditions that uh, Tom Bestie will show some progress and the what do you say about the business? Corporation. And about the corporation being what it is. Mm -hmm. Pete, Pete seconds that motion. Got it. Thank you. And, and Pete second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Aye. All right. Approved. You get all that on? Oh, I did. Uh, Thank you. I did. I got it too. I had no notes. You don't know what was the vote? Approved. six months. Yes, yeah, so There were at least two voted no. She must oh. know what the count of the vote was. Who voted no? Oh, who voted no? Who, who voted no? Dan voted no. Somebody online voted no. So. Who, who voted no? Who voted no online? We're just trying to get it for. Yeah. Who were the who were the no votes? Just yeah. Call for a roll call. Yeah. You want to do a roll call vote? Let's do that. Yep. Okay. Uh, we start with Dan Osborne. No. All right. Wayne. Bean. Yes. Yep. Uh, Pete Peterson. Yes. Andrew. Yes. Chester. Yes. I get it done. Don? I'm a yes. And chair votes yes. Six, six, six to one. Got it. All right. Building Commissioner's report. Okay. Um, we've talked about the uh, institutional zoning for the academy. We haven't had a meeting yet. Uh, Chester, this is the time um, we can set our meeting up for that. Um, Andy, the same way. Um, so, uh, and the only other one is is Boo Marshall. So, I was thinking, are you guys available an hour before the BZA meeting on Thursday, say five thirty? This Thursday. Yes. At 5.30. You're saying next Thursday? If, if it's or this I Thursday, have... I can be available. Okay. Uh, say that again, Andrew. Uh, if it's this Thursday, I can be available. Okay. And you are a yes, Chester? Yes, I'm available. Okay, so or... we'll, we'll meet at the Beach Lodge at 5.30. Okay, and I will try to give you um, a couple versions of other other areas that have um, institutional zoning. Okay, yeah. so that's what we've got on that, and and we'll uh, work from there. All right. Okay. Thank you. This is Thursday. It's the seventeenth. Uh, Correct. Yeah. Okay. Five thirty. <laughs> All right, the uh, other thing is the square footage cap fee for large industrial commercial buildings. Um, something that we've had in place for quite a while, something that hasn't been used. Well, I don't know, what was your permit cost out there, Kevin? Around $16,000. Okay. $17, okay, so we've had had several hits on this with um, the the paddocks. Um, 
out there and also with the academy. Um, it just seems to me when you're paying $6,300 for a permit, that's a lot of money. A mm -hmm. lot of money. That, when you're talking square footage. You know, so my proposal is that we look at this and try to um, figure out what it is that would be fair, more fair for both sides. Um, you know, I, it kind of hit me in the stomach when I'm looking at $6,300 and $5,800 and $16,000 for the paddocks. Uh, $16,000 could build probably half a dozen apartments. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah. if you already had the structure. Not one I'd want to live in. <laughs> no, if you already had the structure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice to have the uh, permits covered. So, you know, instead so, of paying 16000 for all the permits, I think what you're talking um, Just like uh, with Kevin out here at the, the paddocks, um, we do a footing inspection, we do a foundation inspection uh, for the building, we do a um, framing, uh, rough framing inspection. Um, we're also doing an electrical inspection, plumbing, uh, and HVAC. And then after that, we're basically waiting to do a final uh, inspection on all these. So we're at six, seven inspections is what we've got. The count out of the and that for cost, the cost, and that's for the county. As as for that cost, the county gets. $800 of that. That covers all of the inspections. The rest of the money goes to the town for into the general fund. So, you know, the it just seems to me like there's a happy medium or someplace closer to the $800. Or, yeah, you know, between eight and eight. So what I what I've been working on is I've got uh, reports from other um, jurisdictions around us. Um, I don't have everything compiled the way that I, I want to to make a presentation, but uh, I can get that out to everybody before next meeting to take a look at it, you know, and uh, kind of formulate some ideas. You know, I could be all wrong in this. You know, I just know that as the time I was a builder, um, Permit money is just wasted money. You can't buy a two before with to you. Yeah. You, you to know, you to the builder, you can't. Yeah. You can't buy a two before with it. You can't. You know, get any better carpet or anything else, and it's just a, a cost that's that's put on. Now I know that you know the town has. You know they've got to pay for me. They've got to pay for. Paid for you this year. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and I appreciate that, Kevin. <laughs> anything else being done. So. <laughs> but don't ask for any favors. <laughs> We're well, even. Well, you know, for a thousand, you, when you broke it down, and I'm thinking that's a thousand dollars per site visit, you ought to be buying Bob lunch or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anyway, I will have that out to you before the next meeting. Um, I've got everything for probably 15 counties and jurisdictions around us. So I'll be able to get that out to you in a spreadsheet. You can look at it and try to make some determination if if we want to change it, if we should change it. Um, you know, I know that Kevin has brought this up before. Um, we've had um, hmm. comments from the Academy from Jeff Cooch saying, you know, help us out here and that sort of thing. So. That's where we're at on that. I'll try to have it to you before next meeting so we can have a an in-depth discussion and try to come up with a with a plan if we need a plan. Yeah. Chuck, can you send yeah. that on the end? What? Repeat that. Uh, can Chuck send that on the internet? Yes. Or is it too extensive? No, it'd be fine. Yeah, too, not too excessive. No, it's not too excessive. It, I've just got it put down into uh, a spreadsheet, so it's not going to be. Oh, and it's just going to be an idea. So you have to look at if you have better ideas, whatever. This is a discussion. 
between you guys. Yeah, whether we need okay. it, whether we need, whether to need it or that. not. So. Okay. It, it kind of worries me a little bit. I think we patterned this off someone else, but maybe the pattern we looked at was not a very good pattern. And uh, I, I agree looking at it, especially if we cover all costs. Right. So I think that's all I've got for you, Mr. President, um, at this time. Okay. And where are we as far as on the financial reports, as far as everything we have? Um, I'll have that updated for the third quarter. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, this is an input. We got citizens out there or in here? Yes, we do. I, I've got a question, um, and I wasn't prepared for this with the PUD stuff. I knew this, but mine went through, but I don't remember now. There is a time limit on the primary to complete it also, isn't there? So what you guys have done is just extended the secondary, but that means he still has to get all his secondaries done within that primary time limit, which I believe is five years. So when you were extending these secondaries, that doesn't push the primary out. No, no. But okay. you know, um, well, you're extending the whole thing out. I guess six months. That's that's two we different can, statements, though. Right. So I, my, you're saying we should have was the way the vote was. You extended the secondary. He has that much more time to do the secondary. That was actually the only thing that was requested. I mean, according to John, yeah. Johnson's notes that I got. But I would anticipate with the amount of property that he's talking about and the way he keeps talking about dividing it up, you're going to hit the wall on the other end too with the primary. And I can't remember, Chuck, did we change once, that? Or? Once we get the secondary plan, we have two years. To complete the PUD. Yes, the PUD. for the okay. approval. Um, unless there's um, any changes to the primary. <laughs> And what I'm looking at is he's he's been more than two years without having done the secondary. So that's that's we're we're stepping out. And to to Don's point, I I don't know that it harms the town specifically, but what it does is it leaves this cloud out here that there's this potential project. I know it affected Don Good when he did his expansion of the gas station. We were going to rebuild a new building there. And he pulled the plug on it, then he saw this was kind of dragging out, and he did a remodel with a, an extension as opposed to new construction. That's the cloud that, that's the effect on the town. There is a developer with land that's theoretically ready to go. So if another developer comes and, and is truly ready to go, he's going to say, well, I better wait and see what happens with this. And it can, it can just keep, pushing that out and if we want to see things happen in town that's that would be the reason for kind of prodding and pushing for you know fish or cut bait but you you are affecting other development by giving the extension to this my opinion right so he's got but, six, six months to have that secondary plan and then he's got two years after that get it all done. Get it done. so now we're at four and a half years four and three quarter years already and I fully anticipate he's going to ask for another, he's going to ask for extension on the whole thing because he's not going to get there. To build out that many houses and get them sold in in, in two years, ain't going to happen. No, it's not. More and I think we all knew that going into it, but we expected we, we did. And some, I, something to be happening. Right. Well, let's, 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 let's show progress. Yeah. But he has to show progress. I just but. I just wanted to clarify well, that right. we're secondary. changing anything on the that's primary. 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 Right. The that's what but Kevin you know, said. You know, it's on the front, it's on the secondary. Yeah. So All right. you know, but that's but to I'm answer talking. back on what you said as far as the PUD, if you remember the original PUD before we changed it under even your advisement was to not verify the bond that used to be written into the ordinance. And by not doing that, now we're here in the same spot questioning the institutional, you know, not, not point fingers. I'm saying what we're doing, we're trying to find out if the money is going to be funded. 
And that was the whole purpose of the ordinance being written the way it was originally. And now we bypass that, and then we fall into the first PUD that, that brings it before that, well, second one. Second. Second one. First one's doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah, and I'm not saying that these are not doing what they're supposed time. to do, because under the situation, I mean, I'm on both sides of this when I'm seeing it. Uh, I know not having access, and I can see why any developer would not be moving forward under those conditions, but I can also see why a developer would. So I don't want to stand here and and throw a gavel and saying, you know, this is what needs to be done because we've already made provisions for leniency. And, 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 and by even breaking it up in phases, even even opens the door to the same thing we're looking at. You see what I'm saying? And so to back up and say, well, this is what we're looking at now. And we created it. We did. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, that's where I feel. I do. But I, I agree. If you do, you are giving extensions, so you so that's that's a little different. You didn't have to give the last extension or this extension. Right. You could have held him to the gun and said, "Your PUD is expiring. If you don't buy your secondary, and make it." Happen. And then wait for a reapplication. So the bond for is a PUD. little bit of a different thing there, because if, if it was going like it's supposed to, then we wouldn't be having this right. conversation about about Jeannie's conversation about whether there's is the corporation or that. You'd know by now because something would be happening. Nothing's happening. Right, and it does bring up the question due to whatever reason. And once you start giving extensions, how do you stop well, giving? That's, that's, that's the, the problem. other thing I that was going to bring up, too. Because, I mean, I think after you get two six-month extensions and nothing happens, the PUD, it's it's in there. We didn't get an extension. It would have done died. We would have just rezoned it It would have done died, and it would have been it rezoned reverse, back. Doesn't have to go enough to rezone it, doesn't it revert? No, no, you have to rezone here that we had to rezone. Okay. Yeah, once you zone, you have to re un, un, you rezone. It's different, different corporations. So right. I yeah, you cannot leave. Like I said, I didn't study up on this for tonight. Yeah. So. Well, it's like trying to get another entity to, to change the zoning for you, basically. So. I, just, I did not. Just yeah. Things. I'm sorry. I was able to get back to you and I didn't. Yeah. When you talk about secondary, is that the same as phase two? Uh, no. Well, because on the agenda, he was asking for an extension phase two. So how does that? I think that's secondary. More or less, it's, it's that, that typographical way it came down, and when Jonathan wrote it up, I'd say. Mm -hmm. I would is, say. Is phase two it, the actual plan? It, with it is. It is. It's a secondary plan, which primary is, is the way it's set up. This is exactly what they're doing, and a secondary is. When you come back with everything, when it comes back to each stage, so to speak, if he only wants to do, say, I think it's a proposal, he had what, 27 homes? And if he was wanting to do uh, phase one, is only 10 homes, and so much far as on the north side of 17, whatever, you're going to, you know, infrastructure, whatever, he could do that in a phase one section. And then come back with another phase. And that was under recommendation when we changed that PUD as well. Okay, but it's just written wrong. It's just written, written wrong. Oh, okay. It's just written wrong. I mean, this is not a legal paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, okay. so, I didn't want to come off tonight as someone who's not for this. I mean, you oh, no, no. a, a budget, so I'm you, you looked up that information, and I think it should have been brought for the board. Yeah, I think it, I think it's a good it, idea. You know, all it takes is we put it up on the SOS, Secretary of State's office, and there's just it's not there's there. There's been a lot of things have been missed, and now yeah. you just you Kevin what it says here on expiration of time limit. Mm -hmm. it says the planning commission shall determine whether to consider extending the time or to initiate action to amend the zoning map so as to rescind the planned unit development designation. You actively have to start resent. Yes. Okay. And yeah. I just have just one more comment. Okay. Did I hear Mr. Dusty Baum was his when you asked about how much time he wanted? Did he say ten years and then sort of laugh about it? He he said yeah. ten or fifteen years. I was thinking he's being facetious, but I he was know. being yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, and he did say yes. Yeah. But he did say that. Yeah. And I and that's why I asked him. I said, do I need to re-ask this question? Okay. 
Can I just ask um, who's speaking for the minute purpose of the minutes, please? Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't I didn't catch who that member of the public was, just so I have it for the minutes. I'm sorry, Jeannie King. Jeannie King. You get that done? Yeah, Jeannie King. Got it. Got it. Okay. Hey Barry, I just want to bring something up. Looking at the um, blueprints from the original PUD, it is broken out to a phase one A, phase one B, and a phase two. Correct. So are we extending just one of these phases or are we starting with all three phases? No, it's actually just approving a secondary part of the PUD approval, which he still got to bring the site plans to each one of those phases at each time that phase is going to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I explained that right. And honestly, he could change the phases. He could change the phases. Okay. I'm just making sure we're just not approving just the second of the three or something. No, no, no. It's just a secondary. It's actually just completing the PUD completion as far as approval of it. All right. Any more citizen input? Anybody online have anything as far as citizen input? I don't think we got no citizens out there on this. All right, uh, commission members, concerns and input. Any commission members have anything to bring for the commission? Dan? Um, but Andrew? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay, Chester? Uh, where are we at on the... Uh, oh, I sure. uh, Bad building situation. On what, Chester? The, you have to the, uh, bad buildings that we have in town. Oh, well, both, uh, yeah. All bad bad properties. Properties. Which, in particular, do you want to know about, Chester? In particular, which ones? Well, we had a few of them. What were the ones that we were looking at? I think there was three of them that were, that were uh, on our minds. Right now we have uh, sent to the attorney, uh, George Hopples. And so he's working on a court date. He sent me his preliminary uh, action today. I've got to review that and make sure that that's correct. And he will uh, put that uh, take it to the court tomorrow. Uh, so that's where his is. Uh, Boatsman's property uh, on Jefferson Street. Um, he tied down the roof, took care of that as we asked him to. But since that time, a week ago or a week and a half ago, he had a fire and we have a pile of junk out there that I have been there four times in the past week to try to get that moved along and get that cleaned up. Mm. Well, excuse me, isn't this old business? That should have been under a yeah. All right. I don't, I don't understand why this has to be brought up every single year. Right. I agree, moving along. Any more members have actual concerns or input as far as anything with the commission itself? I, I will add to Chuck to uh, not to beat a dead horse, but uh, he needs to talk to the uh, caller fire chief about the Jefferson Street for ind additional information. Okay. He just added for Chuck that the fire chief for, the, for additional information. All right. Uh, any other commission members? I have one thing I'd like to bring up, and this would be asking Chuck, building commissioner. I was in. I was concerned about the property. I know we talked about it at the last meeting as far as they wanted to uh, combine that property as far as where the concrete patio just on the north side of the landing. Yes. And 
I noticed they have a pier with 15 boat lifts and boats on that pier. How many owners are on that property? No, no, no. Sure, that's the next prop. That's the subdivision of what's next to the that's West the West Shore Circle. Okay. Yeah, that's the Circle. I know circle. It, yeah, it goes right next to it. Yeah, that's I, what you're I didn't know about. which side yeah. it was. No, they all oh, they're have good. Lake access. Huh? Yeah. yeah, they all have lake access. They all have lake access, yeah. yeah. Right. Now we're just making sure it wasn't on that property. Right, no. It's not, it's not our only concern. Because, I mean, it would, it would fall under the funneling, okay. which we have that before. And I got it. Correct. All right. Any other that? As far as yeah, one question. Yeah. So on that property we discussed, like this is just a yes or no question. Is there a violation on that pad or the what they're changing on? As of or yet, there isn't. I, I was there again today. Okay. Stones along the edge that they put in are fine. Those are natural and that's not a problem it's what they're planning on doing with where they put the limestone okay, so still they do that there's no problem until they do that there's no problem <clears throat> okay until see that to us all right one other thing real quick have you ever we was asking about the permits as far as for the fence by the cemetery and the actually have you ever even had a chance to even have them look at that no to keep it on your notes. I saw that today, but I didn't stop. It. Okay. Yes. All right. I have nothing else. Anybody else have anything else? Yeah, I just got one thing to, just to clarify on what was said. Uh, the property uh, that Wayne was asking about is, is is that where the boulders went in over around Dan, or is that on around further on the west no. shore? No, that's where where it's at, close to Dan's. Okay. Just pass okay, the Just pass you out of it. Got it. Thank you. Nothing else. I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion. I've got second. a motion and a second. All in favor? Second. Aye. 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 Aye.